as she is coming off a four-game suspension suspension for disciplinary matters, did play in their last game against LSU. Wells gets inside, which at times they have when Massengill hasn't been aggressive. That is a charge by just watching her. But it's it's the you know getting in the gym, making sure that you get better, playing with a sense of urgency. Both teams shooting 50% so far. And now over 50% as Jordan Nixon nails one. A lot of players getting extended minutes with certain injuries. And Wells, after missing from the outside the last couple of times, drove up to the bucket. Kobe fighting for the rebound. Believe it or not, for his first points of the quarter, and we're seven minutes in. And a charge. Got it out of trouble. Three jacked up and hit by Hoppy. Last or near last in the league in almost every defensive statistical category right now. It's, there's the three-point specialist. Good time height advantage. And now going inside on the other end, it's Roby who's fouled by Hunt. And understanding what you're trying to get out of each play. Nixon beats everybody down the floor. Open look, you don't want to leave. Destiny Pitts open. Best player on the floor. Nice post move in those moments. Pitts. Pitts, same spot, same result. And offensively, getting to the rim was one of them. She has zero free throw attempts today. Right. Everything has been a jump shot. As Pitts hits another three, you can't let her get loose. She does get it up to Massengill. The contact and an offensive foul on Edwards, drawn by Jordan Nixon. Inside, Roby able to score over Ryan Howard. Got to go, backs up, picks up her dribble, throws it up for the win, hits the front of the rim. And we are going to overtime, tied up at 55. And the drive nicely done by Patty. She needs to shoot Pitts. Draws another charge. Three minutes to go in overtime. <laughs> and then the jumper by Nixon. Pitts catches, puts up the three and nails it. And they come back to win it by the final of 73 to 64.